Hello my dear student, today in this video I am going to discuss about the class 9 geography elective subject first chapter and the chapter name is weather and climate. Introduction While going to discuss about weather and climate, concern about atmosphere necessarily comes to our mind. Means when we are going to discuss about weather and climate, the first thing which is comes to our mind is atmosphere because the creation and changes of weather and climate take place in the atmosphere means the creation and changes of weather and climate take place in the atmosphere so when we are going to discuss about weather and climate the first thing comes to our mind is atmosphere and all of you know that air is surrounding us in all directions but it is not visible. Then what is atmosphere? The gaseous layer of air that extends upward from the earth surface and surrounds the earth is called atmosphere. Means atmosphere means the blanket of air that surrounds the earth surface. The atmosphere is attached to the surface of the earth due to earth gravitational force. Means due to earth gravitational force both atmosphere and surface of the earth are attached and roughly the atmosphere extends up to a height of about 10,000 km from the earth surface means height of the atmosphere from the surface of the earth is 10,000 km and it can be divided into four layers not exactly four layers there are five layers so you can write there are five layers troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and last one is exosphere. The lowest layer of the atmosphere is the troposphere. As this layer is closely attached to the earth surface, it contains lots of moisture and thus all weather phenomena, including the creation of cloud and rainfall, take place in the troposphere means the first layer of the earth surface is troposphere and so this layer is closely attached to the surface of the earth so it contains lots of moisture so all the weather phenomena including the creation of cloud and rainfall take place in the troposphere okay the next topic is definition of weather and climate atmosphere goes on changing the state of atmosphere is found to change from place to place in all the times means according to times and place the state of temperature is different sun's temperature is one of the main cause responsible for the changing state of temperature means the changing state of temperature is mainly depend on sun temperatures distribution of solar temperature is not uniform in all places on the surface of the earth so it varies in the atmosphere also means distribution of solar temperature is different in different places and because of this reason the temperature or the atmosphere also varies in the different places and because of the variation in atmospheric temperature there are variations of atmospheric pressure and humidity Mane temperature change hoa loge loge pressure aru humidity change hoa the elements like atmospheric temperature pressure humidity etc go on changing every moment means this all the elements of the atmosphere like temperature, pressure, humidity always changing. And as a result, the state of atmosphere also changes in time and over places. It is seen that the state of the atmosphere is changing within a day or a week. In this regard, the state of atmosphere of a place as observed for some hours or a day or for some days or weeks together is called weather of the place means weather is defined as the day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere 
of a particular place. For example, your city might be very hot one day but may experience heavy rains in the next day. Then, as weather means the state of atmosphere for a short span of time, so the concept of weather cannot give us the idea about the state of atmosphere for a long span of time. Because weather means only the day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere of a particular place. So, in this case, in order to know about the atmospheric conditions of a place for a long time period, we need to take the record of the elements of weather such as temperature, pressure, humidity, etc. on daily basis and then monthly, then seasonal and annual basis and finally considering a period of at least 30 years. And in this way, the average atmospheric condition considered at least for 30 years of time based on daily, monthly, seasonal and annual data of weather elements is called climate. Means the normal pattern of weather experienced in a particular area over a long period of time is known as the climate. For example, we call the climate of the Northeast India as tropical monsoon climate as because this type of climate has been found to prevail over the Northeastern region for a long period of time, at least for 30 years or more. Or in other words, the climate of a place stays the same Year after year, for example, the climate of Antarctica is extremely cold. And there is a clear difference between weather and climate to understand the difference. And it is necessary to consider the concept of time and place. Means according to the time and place, the weather and climate is different in different places. Weather means the atmospheric condition that occurs in a place for a short period of time. And on the other hand, climate means the average condition of the atmosphere that prevails over a place for a long period of time. Okay? Whether to say at a short period of time or at the atmospheric condition, or climate to say at a long period of time or atmospheric conditions. Again, as the elements of weather such as temperature, pressure, and humidity, etc. go on changing within a short distance. So, weather indicates the condition of the atmosphere in all small place or limited area of the earth surface. But climate means the atmospheric condition of a large or an extensive region, for example, climate of Assam. The next topic is elements of weather and climate. The weather and climate of a place are created by some elements which are known as the elements of weather and climate. The principal elements of weather and climate are temperature, pressure, humidity, wind and precipitation and these elements are changing and these go on changing with respect to time and space. Means Temperature, pressure, humidity, wind and precipitation etc. are the main elements of weather and climate which are changeable according to the time and space. The number one element is temperature. The atmosphere gets heat from the sun. The incoming solar energy while coming across the various layers of the atmosphere absorbs some portion of that energy and the remaining portion falls on the surface of the earth means the atmosphere gets heat from the sun while the solar energy coming they across the various layers of the atmosphere such as troposphere stratosphere mesosphere etc and these layers absorbs some portion of the solar energy and the remaining portion falls on the surface of the earth the incident solar energy on the earth surface then gets reflected and this reflected heat energy is first absorbed by the air of the troposphere. 
means when the remaining portion of the solar energy falls on the surface of the earth then this reflected heat energy is first absorbed by the air of the troposphere because troposphere is the first layer of the surface of the earth which is attached to the earth surface and as a result the air of the lower layer means troposphere is heated air expands and becomes light when it is heated mane jetia gorom beshi hoy jay tetia air to expand hoy aru light hoy jay the light air then moves upward and the vacuum created by the light air is immediately filled with relatively cold air blowing from the surroundings in this way there are develops low pressure and high pressure centers and thereby wind blows due to the difference of pressure in the atmosphere means the light air easily moves upward and the light air is immediately filled with the relatively cold air which is blowing from the surroundings and in this way low pressure and high pressure centers are created temperature changes in the atmosphere along the horizontal and vertical directions in troposphere the air temperature decreases at the rate of 6.5 degrees centigrade per kilometer when one goes up through the atmosphere from the earth surface this rate of decrease of temperature in the troposphere on the basis of increase in altitude is called lapse rate means according to the horizontal and vertical directions temperature is changed in the atmosphere and in the troposphere the air temperature decreases and it decreases at the rate of 6.5 degree centigrade per kilometer and it decreases when one goes up through the atmosphere from the earth surface and this rate of decrease of temperature in the troposphere on the basis of increase in altitude means height is called lapse rate mane troposphere ot अल्टिट्यूड हाइट इनक्रीज हम बाढ़ गेम्परेचार डिक्रीज है कमी जाए और हे डिक्रीज हुआ टेम्परेचार रेट तो सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेन्टिग्रेड पार किलोमिटार और इक क्या है लैब्स रेट Besides along the vertical direction atmospheric temperature also changes along horizontal direction because of the variation in horizontal distribution of air temperature there are also occur variation in pressure distribution along horizontal direction and due to such variation of pressure wind blows in the atmosphere along horizontal direction means temperature changes in the atmosphere along the horizontal and vertical directions and because of the variation of air in horizontal directions or distribution there occurs variation in pressure distribution also and due to such variation of pressure the wind blows in the atmosphere along with the horizontal directions air temperature of a place varies from time to time means according to time to time the air temperature is different in a place sun rays fall over a place particularly at noon so in this case the solar radiation particularly passes through the atmosphere and it travels for a short distance and it falls on a small area so its intensity becomes high so we feel more warmer at noon but the sun's rays fall obliquely on the earth surface in the morning and in the evening and cover relatively larger area so in this case heating intensity become less and less temperature is experienced on the other hand we know that the earth being inclined by 23 and half degree at its axis is revolving around the sun in such a situation its northern hemisphere sometimes comes closer to the sun and the southern hemisphere goes away from the sun as against these situations sometimes the northern hemisphere goes away from the sun and the southern hemisphere comes closer to it means all of you know that the earth being inclined by 23 and half degree at its axis so 
sometimes the northern hemisphere or sometimes the southern hemisphere comes closer to the sun but sometimes the northern hemisphere and sometimes the southern hemisphere goes away from the sun because of this situation the hemisphere which is closer to the sun enjoys summer season and the hemisphere which is away from the sun enjoys winter season again the sun's ray falls vertically over the equatorial region all the year round and hence the air of the equatorial region becomes warmer but the sun's ray falls obliquely on the northern and southern polar regions thus the temperature goes on decreasing towards both the polar regions from the equator and finally the polar regions are in the grip of severe cold means in the equatorial regions the sun's ray falls vertically in all the year so this region becomes warmer but in the polar region like north and south the sun's ray falls obliquely so in this polar regions the temperature goes on decreasing and finally the polar regions are in the grip of severe cold